So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehu and welcome to another React Native tutorial in which we're gonna um, take a look at how basically you can send people from your drawer to other stack navigators or maybe to other items in your navigator. Right, so for example, if I click on this, nothing happens right now. If I click on it, if I click there. But uh, what you want to do is, um, let's say, change the activity or something like that. <clears throat> so to do that, what we can do basically is, um, let's do a couple of changes here. For example, I can add <coughs> routes as here, and I can say this is uh, title is home, and I can say, um, yeah, basically that's it for now. Or if that's the case, then why not just do like home and dashboard, for instance. So I can say routes.map element, and I can say text. right and what you want basically is not just like that but a little bit of more and that is if we can just get this alignment a little bit nicely yeah so we can have a touchable opacity here and we can say on press i believe let's see touchable Capacity on press. I want to navigate, right? So I can say this dot navigate to something. So here's the deal. Yeah, I guess we would need that approach which I was following earlier. So I can set this title as that, and I can set this route as home. And for the other thing, also I can say this title is this and route is dashboard so right you can basically pretty much create a little bit of stuff like that and you would be great so what we want to do next is say e dot title obviously and i can say e dot um route here and what's the problem which we are facing here is that we have not closed touchable opacity there we go so what this does is that basically it gives us the opportunity to create clickable elements right because you cannot just on press on a text or on a view so what you want to do is basically give it a style a bit as well so we can say styles dot or yeah styles dot to let's just say link something like that hit save so now what I want to do is import styles from styles and it's always good to make your application as modular as possible from the start so you need to include the style sheet so react native it is and Export default style sheet dot create and you need link so let's just say it uh, is something like uh, padding as 15 and uh, let's just say border button width is uh, 2 and border button color is something like that right so what we want to do now is if we see you see we get this home and dashboard kind of stuff here and obviously we can just get rid of this and you can see if i tap on them it kind of is you know clickable so what we want to do is now just create this navigate method so navigate route and what we want to do is say this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and then route but the problem is how do we get access to this stuff props dot navigation dot navigate here well if you see right now if i click on this um okay we do have access to it but uh, so yeah you do have access to it right now because as i said right here um 
if you take a look inside app.js, when you pass content component as this, so all of the props gets passed down. But for example, if you pass it as a function, then obviously you do not have access to the navigation props, right? So it fails. So what do you want to do if you're passing it something like this? So you can just destructure navigate navigation basically here and pass it again. But anyways, doing it like um, just a regular component is fine as well. So you can see this way it works perfectly and uh, that's basically it. Yeah, so that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one. Wait, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.